I'll miss watching him play, if I'm honest. I've uh, been really lucky to be part of that career, um, on the side of it, uh, coaching him at different times in that, in that time. And he's been outstanding. And I think hopefully all the plaudits he gets, he's deserved every one. I thought from a long way through the summer, it was going to be the time to retire. He'd done so well and time it felt right. And then it got really late and I thought, well, maybe he's going to carry on because he hadn't really um, given any clues. And I think I was, my other emotion was I was really pleased because it felt like the perfect time. So Stuart, I first coached Stuart 2007, I think it was. Uh, I was National Academy Director. He came as a young man who just literally started, done half a season of county cricket and he came on. And fresh faced, um, raw action, and immediately you watched him. Well, you watched him, but you talked to him and you could see there was something different. And I think he played finals day that year as a youngster for Leicester. And you just watched him and thought, you know, he's not scared. He wants to play, he wants to compete. And I think as his career's gone on more and more, he's never shied away from a contest. Well, I think it was probably in New Zealand when we played Jimmy and Brodie together. That should be out and he's beautifully taken. Well, Stuart Broad has kept his head. And Chris and Martin Jenkins, who's passed away since, um, lovely man, I knew him from Sussex. And at the end of that test match, we won the test match, and Stuart had done well and Jimmy had done well. And, and I remember CMJ walking up to me and saying, I think you've found the bowling attack for the Ashes. I always say to me, he bowls best, he's like, runs in like a show pony, his knees pump. He's up and down um, and he's over the top, but he connects to it. Um, and then for me, there's nothing else on apart from him at that moment doing what he does. Complete repeat performance. And I think once he'd done it a few times, he started to recognise and he was looking for him. And then you look for those moments, you know, and we all remember the different ones, you know, the, the one at Chesterley Street when he was in Australia. I was driving the car then listening to that and you could feel it coming out of the radio. You know, this, this guy's on here, you know, and he's, he's going to do something special and he did. A little swing and he's taken it, yes, caught. A short extra cover, this is incredible. We had a really tough year in 19, 2019. We had a transition from what would be the old guard, Chris Reed's team, I would say. Um, and a lot of experience went out of that dressing room at the same time. And it left us, we signed some players, we had some youngsters coming through and they didn't really know how to win and how to play what I would say uh, to become a team that's hard to play against. And Stuart then came in um, and Stuart then spent quite a lot of time with some of those younger players about how you become a tough sportsman to play against uh, and how you make the opposition feel uncomfortable uh, when you play against them. And that to me is an art. You know, the things England have done in this Test Match series, the way England play makes, makes it uncomfortable to play against because they're aggression. So I think Stuart helped, helped a lot of our players in that space. The image of Stuart will always be the same really and that's him running in. Um, knees pumping um, and bowlers are king of the game because they start everything and I think Stuart epitomises all of that when he's on the game runs at his at his beat he's in you know we see him now bringing the crowd into the game he he controls it and that image really of him at different points you know he's got his jumps at the back of his mark um, he, his legs coming in um, and that sort of like total commitment to get a batter out, that's the image I'll have. Um, I'll miss watching him play, if I'm honest. I've uh, been really lucky to be part of that career um, on the side of it, uh, coaching him at different times in that, in that time. And he's been outstanding. And I think hopefully all the plaudits he gets, he's deserved every one of them.